What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Bristol Rovers Career Mode Series. This is episode 117 and we're going to start this episode off by going into a game against Manchester United and it is going to be in the Champions League quarterfinals. This is going to be a very, very big match for us and if we can get a good result in this first leg of this uh, of this Champions League uh, tie, this would be really good because of course we are playing away from home and that, and that away goal basically really does count for something so if we can get just one goal here I will be very very happy you can see there Barcelona and Manchester City are facing each other in the other quarter final so if we do go through and beat Manchester United that is who we'll, we will be facing but to be honest Manchester United they have a pretty average side I'll be honest but we would be pushing for that away goal and we intercept the ball here with Bard Fina who passes it off to Ryan Brunt, Ryan Brunt with a great chance but it's an easy save from Sirigu. What a poor shot with his left foot that is. Ryan Brunt should have done better there. And as you can see here, we get put through once again. Dale Jennings, a really good chance to get his debut goal as he cuts inside. No, he actually crosses this one into the centre. And it's Campbell, who's very unlucky. I mean, the goalkeeper saves it, but he was never going to put that into the back of the net. I should have just passed it back and hopefully got a shot off that way. Because, I mean, he was off balance. He, he was no... No way was he ever going to put that into the back of the net. That was just ridiculous for me, attempting to even have a shot there. Once again, it's Dale Jennings causing some problems down the left-hand side, cutting inside and having a shot, but unfortunately it just goes wide of the post. But we are getting ever so closer to scoring that very important goal. That And if we would score it, then that would really, really mean a lot to us because, of course, the away goal matters so much because it means that into the second leg we would hardly have to do anything. We wouldn't even have to score. Manchester United would have to score twice. Ryan Brunt picks up the ball. Ryan Brunt shoots and Ryan Brunt scores. He puts it into the back of the net and that is exactly what we needed. We needed the defenders to make a mistake and it was Keane that makes the mistake there and we put it into the back of the net with Ryan Brunt and make it 1-0. What an important goal that could be in this... Uh, in this Champions League tie here and the fact that we've just scored it there very late on in the game as well is so so important but I have been reading in the comments down below as we do get confirmation we do win this game 1-0 I've been reading in the comments down below I have been pronouncing some of the players names slightly wrong I think uh, Lesqueles I've been calling him that's not actually how you pronounce his name. That's a little bit embarrassing because considering he is an English player and I've been pr pronouncing it, uh, sorry, pronouncing his name very, very wrong. And it's actually Lascelles or Lascelles. I think it's, um, I think it's Lascelles. I think that's how you say his name. And it's actually a silent C. So you don't actually pronounce the C. So that's quite an interesting one indeed. If I'm still saying his name wrong, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm just getting ever so embarrassed with just basically pronouncing most players' names wrong. And uh, hopefully I did get that one right. I'm pretty sure it is Lascelles because I have been looking it up and just checking on the internet to see if it actually is that. And I'm pretty sure it is just from looking up on uh, on some name pronunciation website. But anyway, we're going into this game and it is going to be against Arsenal in the Barclays Premier League. Hoping to basically get revenge on them because they knocked us out of not only the Capital One Cup but also the FA Cup. Uh, I think that was the last episode or the episode before. And Wilshire there with a great chance to make it 1-0 for Arsenal. But it hits the post there. And we are very lucky that we are not 1-0 down early on in this game. And I'll be honest, they were creating most of the chances in the first 20 minutes until we pick up the ball here with Marquez Amarim. He's going through one-on-one -on -one and he has a shot. And that is a fantastic goal by Amarim. I know I don't give him enough playing time. I really do know that. But I really just prefer the pace down that right-hand side of John Taylor. He just seems to be so much better than Amarim. And I don't know why, because Amarim, his stats are just a lot better. I mean, he's 76 rated already at the age of 20. It's a shame we're not carrying on with this career mode. Because, you know, our, our youngsters such as Gerard Hughes... Belek and also, um, of course, Amarim. They would be absolutely fantastic late on in career mode. I could imagine they could reach 90, both or all three of them respectively, as uh, we have a header there with, I do believe that was Big Romana. But right here, what you're about to see is some of the biggest aids you have ever seen in a goal. I don't like to believe in aids. I don't think it's real, but, you know, it's just very... It's, it's what's known in the community as aids. I don't like to call it that, but it's basically... Just very unlucky for Arsenal. Let's just call it that because it really is. I mean, you have a look here. The header from Bailey Wright hits the crossbar. Then it hits the back of the goalkeeper. Rebounds onto the post and back out to Bennett who puts it into the back of the net. And that was that was deep into uh, the first half of, uh, of uh, injury time there. And um, 
And yeah, that was uh, that was the game. We actually managed to win it 2-0. So we do get our revenge on Arsenal after they knocked us out of the FA Cup and also the Capital One Cup respectively. And that is a very, very good result. Winning the game 2-0 and you can see there we were absolutely dominant. Unlike in that Capital One Cup match where it was really vice versa and Arsenal were actually the dominant side. But anyway... We are going to be, uh, I do believe we're going into the next match of this episode. It's going to be the second leg of the Champions League and it's going to be against Manchester United, of course. You can see the lineup that we're going with there. We're, you, you see, in the last, I think it was when we were against Bayern Munich, I went with a 5-4-1 formation. I was basically parking the bus in Jose Mourinho terms, in Chelsea terms. To any of you Chelsea fans, you'll probably understand that. But anyway... You can see that I actually went with my traditional 4-1-2-1-2. And the reason I did that is because Manchester United, I didn't think that they were much of a threat. I knew they didn't have the best of teams. Their defence is a bit shaky with Butner in there or Butner and also Evans and Keane. They're not the most solid of players, but up front they do have pretty decent players still in Nani and a few other players in there as well. But of course it didn't matter if we actually scored or not. You can see here we try and cut inside there and the defender... That is just exactly what I'm talking about. Their defenders are just inexperienced. They're not world-class defenders. We don't have world-class defenders either, but they're doing a damn, damn better job than this guy here, Keane. And he was not good in the first leg, and he's not good now in this second leg as we have a penalty here. Really good chance to make it 1-0. And this would pretty much be game over for Manchester United. They would have to score three goals for them to basically go through and manage to beat us and go through to the semi-finals do we score it of course we do it's Ryan Brunt of course he's gonna score it I'm very good at taking penalties I'm just not that good at saving them that's something that I need to improve on and hopefully I will be able to improve on that I'm trying to improve on it as good as I can and I'm doing all right I am doing all right I, I know how to dive, I know how to do all of that, but I just, it's the saving and the guessing process. I mean, it's very hard to guess which way the AI are going. Some people are saying, look at their feet, but I look at their feet and then I just go the wrong way. And, you know, that never really helps me whatsoever. If anything, it just puts me off and it makes me be like, well, are they actually really going to go that way? And usually they don't. They just stutter and then they just go down the middle or to the left or to the right. But I have to say, that is one of the best goals that Ryan Brunt has scored. Seriously, that is a fantastic goal by Ryan Brunt. If you can see it here, it's a really good through ball over the top. He takes it first time, and that's a great volley with his right foot. Rifling that one into the top left-hand corner, or top right-hand corner, actually. And that is a really, really good goal there from Ryan Brunt. Beating Sirigu, and that makes it 2-0 here. Certainly game over now for Manchester United. They would have to score three, four goals. I'm not sure, because the away goal does count as kind of two goals, I guess you could say. But uh, if they did score three goals, it wouldn't really matter. So, yes, they would have to actually score four goals, because on aggregate, it is uh, at, actually at three goals. But they did make a comeback slightly in the second half. You can see Welbeck playing through Shinji Kagawa there. Very bad goalkeeping from Castiles. You've got to be honest there. He really shouldn't have parried that straight back into Kagawa's path. And he puts it into the back of the net with a header. Very, very easy work for Kagawa. And it gives Manchester United a little bit of hope. A little glimmer of hope. But to be honest with you, it was just too little too late. And in the end, we do go through in the Champions League. As you can see here, we kick the ball up with Castiles. And that is good news for us. Because we are through in the Champions League. And that is going to be the end of the episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you want another episode of Career Mode tomorrow, be sure to smash 40 likes. And I'll get that done for you guys. And that will be the semi-finals. Ever so close to the finals now will we win the champions league well our route our, our run continues in the champions league and hopefully we will be able to win it and you can see there that we were the dominant team we had seven shots manchester united could have had something in the game but it didn't really matter in the end you can see we will be playing barcelona in the next round but anyway guys hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time for another video thanks for watching